how to do implicit differentiation. We've been doing it for a long, long time. All right, now the only difference is I'm gonna throw something in, something with an E in there, okay? So let's now do like an X times E to the Y, okay? I can do that, not a big deal. All right, minus 10 X, all right, plus three Y equals zero, okay? So implicit differentiation, we've been doing this for a long time, but now we're just throwing that E function in there. All right, now you've got to recognize this as product, all right? That's got to be product rule right there, okay? I really think I've got everybody doing that now. You're not missing that. This is going to be straight derivative. This will be a straight derivative there. Okay, so product rule right here. I'm not going to use the um, DDX notation. Well, I'll, I'll use it out in front, not inside here. So we're taking the derivative of x e to the y minus 10x plus 3y. So this is this is telling people we're taking the derivative with respect to x. All right, so that line's really good. Okay, now I'm going to start my product rule here. Okay, so I'm going to have the first term times the derivative of the second one. So can we do this in our head? I'm hoping. So e to the y, implicit differentiation, y prime, All right? e to the y, y prime. So e to the y, y prime. All right, that's my first one. Plus the second term, e to the y, times the derivative of the first one, derivative of that x is just one. All right, so all of that right there was the product rule that came from that right there. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and take the derivative there, which will be a minus 10. Derivative here uh, would just be a three. And then because it's got a y in there, you're slapping in that y prime. All right, is equal to zero. All right, now again, we want these two, uh, ooh, Almost did that wrong. These two, I could clean it up, but let's clean it up and, and organize terms all in the same thing. I can take these two terms, let's see if I can do this. So I'm going to take this term, it's going to stay on the left. This term is going to stay on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and, because I think you guys can do this, factor out the y prime while I'm leaving it on that side of the equation. So factor out the y prime. This will just be an x e to the y with a three right there. All right, these two get moved to the right-hand side. All right, so since this one's gonna become negative, I'm gonna write it second. All right, this will be positive. So I'm gonna write 10. When I cross the equal sign, it becomes positive. When I cross the equal sign here, it becomes negative. Okay, and I just chose to put them in that order so that I wouldn't have a negative leading coefficient. All right, now divide both sides by this. So y prime is 10 minus e to the y all over x e raised to the y plus three, okay. All right, so um, again, we've done implicit differentiation for quite a long time. So now they're just gonna throw those e's in there. And the, the main thing is here, make sure you have product rule. And if this product rule would have been, um, would have been, well, had a previous minus sign in front of it, you would have had to put the brackets around it and make sure that you distributed the negative through. All right, because that's another common mistake. All right, but for the most part,